Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Kathy. And we have two children at Buckeye Catholic. Our son Peter is a senior this year, and our daughter Annalise is a sophomore. I think as a parent, you hope that your children find a sense of purpose. Both of them were recruited as athletes. They had other choices uh, as Division I athletes. Um, and both of them chose to come um, to Ohio State because of what they saw in terms of Catholic identity. Mm -hmm. It's a creativity. It takes so much more effort than just heading down to High Street and jumping into a bar. Truck push <laughs> last week? There was a truck push last week. Father Adam got his truck out. People in the uh, apartments were like, coming outside, what's going on? And they just were invited into this truck push and they're pushing Father Adam's black pickup truck up and down the alley. Having Father Adam running the Newman Center has been a real gift. His ability to, to reach and speak to the students in a way that is at sometimes fun and, and joyful and silly. It's become a place where the students at High State do life. My kids are experiencing um, the diversity of cultures that we experience in the world, and yet they're finding ways to navigate that. It's more like what they're going to face when they get out of school, because they're going to be going into a non-Catholic world. And preparing them with that kind of readiness, um, now when they're in college, when they do have such a strong community at Buckeye Catholic, in a non-Catholic world, it's turned to be a, a real blessing in a way that I wouldn't trade it for another institution. Their definition of success includes um, and maybe is even centered around their Catholic faith. The harvest is already there, forget that. We need more laborers. <laughs> so one of the things I'm really excited about for the future of Buckeye Catholic is first quarter next year we're gonna be opening a coffee shop. And the way the students were involved in the design and the way that they wanted to set up, even something as simple as the seating in the lounge. A lot of student centers have like this little place where you can hide in a cubby and by yourself and maybe plug a laptop. They wanted none of that. Everything is set up for the Church. So some of you might not ever come to step foot in the Catholic Church and come for a cup of coffee and they just might have a great conversation. This is the first year that the students have been running all aspects of the ministry. The, the future of Catholic, I think, is going to be really interesting, very dynamic.